Down on the Dumps with Dog Show. I'm Tina. And I'm Anna. It is Friday, July 12th, and it is about 78 degrees out there in sunny Los Angeles. Dodgers are up. 44 and 45 for the season. About to turn those tables. Turning those tables. They're playing the Rockies tonight here on home turf. Go Dodgers. Good luck. We still got that store, you know. We're working on it. Who remembers that we have a store? We got one. Still a thing. Still happening. Um, we're T minus on it. We've got the yeah. new space. We're working hard. We've been working every day. Right down the street from Dodger Stadium. I'm getting closer and closer to picking up the phone one day to Dodger calling. No, no one day. called last Hi. week. I couldn't believe it. Anyways. We'll get them. The store will be open very soon. Very soon. Let's not waste any time today. I think we're gonna Please wait not. to open this letter until we have our special guest. Welcome to the show, Seth Bogart. <laughs> Hi. Hi everyone. I'm good. How are you? Good. Let's we, read this let's letter. I just can't wait because I think I know what I it might be about. It. All right. <laughs> Today's letter comes all the way from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Dear Dog Show, I don't exactly know how to get started, so I guess I'll just jump right in. I think my boyfriend of six years, I'm 22, may be hiding a foot fetish from me. I've caught him in my closet before and found a lot of evidence to support this theory on his internet history, and I've tried to bring it up with him, but he's denied it and I don't want to make him uncomfortable, but it sort of hurts my feelings that he feels he can't share this with me and makes me wonder what else he could be hiding. Dog show, what do I do? Should he own up to everything? Shoo. Shoo. Oh, shoo. Okay, um, I wish we could have a conference call with Shoo. I know, well, but that's the name. The point of this whole thing is that they write in and they don't have. Because I feel like there's like lots oh. of details missing, like what was the internet <laughs> evidence? Let's just assume well, like, it was I your assume, basic foot fetish type. Like, of do you think search. he was looking at like sexy feet or like pedicure prices or like probably all of it? I don't know. We're gonna assume that it's sexy feet. You don't think he was like looking at shoes and maybe he's just gay and like or that's maybe he's just gay? That'd be a problem too. <laughs> that's I don't think he's just gay. Like what I think is that shoe should um, <laughs> play some tricks and pranks on her boyfriend. Ooh, tricks. And Tricks. by that I mean like get into bed with like a really like sexy little shoe on and like <laughs> dangle it in his face and like try to trap him into like admitting that he has a shoe fetish. Right. I feel like having a shoe fetish is like totally a cool thing and she's only going to benefit. She's only going to get like lots of shoes, cool tights or socks, maybe leggings even. Mm -hmm. Going to get like, like really expensive pedicures. Mm -hmm. um, so she should really dive in and just try to, I think maybe she should, she should start living that way and maybe. Yeah. And just being like, oh God, my feet her right now. I could like yeah, really like, use a foot rub. This could really like be a good thing for you. I mean, yeah, shoe, new shoes. Like, get with the program. Okay. Like get into pedicures, get foot massages. Like hello. What about the fact that she's worried that he's hiding other things because <clears throat> he won't own up to this? Well, you I think feel that's like, valid. I I mean I don't. I feel like he's probably not. I mean I feel like if you're gonna date someone for six years and think they're hiding something, you probably shouldn't be dating them. Maybe shoe. You should like take care of your feet because maybe your boyfriend like thinks your feet are fucking nasty. Oh, Aww. your feet are fine. Your feet well, are fine. Well, I'm just saying, like, if whether your feet are fine or not, you should get them in tip-top shape and use them mm -hmm. to your advantage because, like, you can get things bought for you and get massages, mm -hmm. which is, like, my fave thing. I, for one, am definitely into foot hygiene. Me too. Have okay. nice feet. I, had, I once dated a foot fetish guy, but then it turned out he just wanted me to, like, be his master and mm -hmm. walk him around, like, on a leash. Around hmm. the house. So these are like the other secrets he could be hiding, like yeah. just Yeah, that's like what to, that's you're my word to shoe because this guy's like, come over, like you can watch Desperate Housewives and I'll do your laundry and like hmm. rub your feet. And I was like, oh my god, this is my dream guy. So it's like one little foot massage is like a give him an inch, he'll take a mile, and then all of a sudden you're his master. Yeah, and then he's like, <laughs> okay. Yeah, he, I think maybe that he. He's looking to be like a slave or something, like a foot slave because... Um, oh, I want a foot slave. It's not as glamorous as it seems though. I mean, no, no offense. I, I mean, it, it is glamorous. It's just it. like, you have to be really into that because he was like, I want you to put the grossest possible part of your foot, like the driest, the most grossest part of your foot? I don't know, you know how everyone has like a gross part? <laughs> Maybe? I mean, not like I have <laughs> gross feet or anything, so it's like, shoot. Yeah, it can go a little 
in that way. She's only 22. She's only 22. But she's been dating since she's 16, so she's nasty. Oh. <laughs> so we want her to try to have fun with it, see where it goes. If it's not a good situation, she might just need to pack up. Yeah, I feel so like the two options are, one, you go with it, it's a good reason to buy some new shoes and get your feet done. Other thing is, lots of secrets, maybe it's time to cut the ties. Yeah. You're only 22, you'll be fine. But either way, fine. you need to like, go forward. Yeah, yeah definitely go forward. forward. You're not dealing with, no more bullshit. And that'll do it. That'll do it. If you're down in the dumps, write to Dog Show. And tune in every Friday. That was a lot of good info, I think. Yeah. Hopefully next time we get Shu to just come on in. I want to see Shu so bad. <laughs> <laughs>